Good afternoon, this is Bradley Charbonneau with Licoma. Here's a special video just for Kalib and Tudla.com, and I'm going to show you how to add a new user. So th technically the email is hosted with Google, uh, Google Apps, it's a fantastic email service that I really like and I've been using a lot lately. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through creating one new user and then showing you how to uh, get in there and add a bunch. So first I'm just going to create a new user here. I'll of course show you the login names for all this. First name Joe Schmo. Username Joe. Now I can either take their password or set my own. Um, I'm just going to do... I just made up one, but of course I need to know what it is in a second. Oh, didn't like that. Alright, it didn't like Joe. I, I just did a test, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna... You won't have that. There we go. Got Joseph all set up. Okay. So Joseph now exists as an email. Uh, actually, his username is Joseph, so that would be his email, joseph at tudla.com. Now what I'm going to do is to show how to uh, get his email, I'm going to switch over here to Internet Explorer. That was Firefox. This is Internet Explorer because what I want to do is uh, show you how Joe would get his email or, or could via webmail. So now I'm in Internet Explorer just so I'm not logged in as the administrator. Joseph and password and remember it doesn't matter it's just sort of fake so the very first time he does this he's gonna have to fill this in but only once there we go now what the important stuff here is once we get into this Gmail it's, it's technically Gmail by the way it's hosted by Google but it's still tudla.com so it's, it is your email it is your domain we're just routing it through Gmail one, there's many reasons I'm using this. One of them is spam. It's a really good spam killer, um, as well as uptime and space. And if you want to ask me, I have lots of reasons why it's really good. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna. Uh, so here, this is one way that Joseph could see his email. He could log in. It's gonna be mail.tudla.com once we switch the domain, but not yet. Um, he can also, of course, use his Outlook or use his whatever program on his computer to get his mail. And in by that, I'm going to go into Settings up here. And then I'm going to go into uh, Pop and IMAP. And right now, you'll see here, Status Pop is disabled. But I want to enable Pop so that Joseph here can get his mail uh, through his Outlook. And this one is also important right here. What do you what do we want to do with the mail on the server when Joe gets his mail through his Outlook? Well, I want to archive it so that it's always still on the server. I've got 6 gigabytes or so, so I can always have that up here. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to enable pop for all mail and then I'm going to archive the mail copy and save. So I just <laughs> So, um, with a little interruption, I'm moving on. Uh, I just set up the settings. I've got, uh, we're leaving tomorrow, and got kids here. Uh, he can also enable IMAP if he wants. And there is another thing with configuration instructions here for some help for Joe if he logs in and he sees this stuff. Um, and that's about it. It is a Gmail interface. If anybody's familiar with it, that's great. Just another just helps out it's really easy and if you can still hear me um, that's that's about it so um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, that's basically how to set that up um, using this this account um, oh one more thing let me show you one more thing here uh, if I do go into settings and I want the pop and IMAP and I do click on configuration instructions let me just show you sort of what you're basically looking at here. I'm just going to say Outlook because that's a very common one and it's going to give us some images oh here we go 
So uh, enable pop in Gmail did that. Configure your Outlook client. So let's go look at that. I've, I made it a small screen here. So do this. It shows you. It walks you through how to set up your email. Your you know Joseph at Tudla.com. So it's not Gmail, but Joseph at Tudla.com. Um, and the settings here, and it is pop.gmail, it is smtp.gmail, but it's still Tudla. And then actually the most important is this complicated stuff down here. SMTP requires authentication, uh, SSL, outgoing 587, TLS, all this stuff uh, you will need to, or you or the users will need to set up. Um, or if they really use their, their webmail, mail.tudla.com, and they're, and they're done. So let, that's that's the basic setup. Let me know if you have any questions with this and I can help you set it up or feel free to play around because it's it's not real yet. It's not really getting the Toodla mail. Um, oh yeah, I am forgetting one more thing. If So right now, uh, if Joseph here has mail sitting on Toodla.com that uh, he's been using for years, what we can do is we can say get mail from other accounts. Now, there's only a certain way we can do this because it won't let me just do Joseph here. I don't think. No. So what I need to do, and this is where it gets a little tricky and I'm happy to help, is instead of this, I need Joseph at whatever. The IP address of the mail server. And that's where uh, this can get a little tricky, but um, it, it does work if we can get the address of the mail server. And I did ask XO for it. Anyway, we can cross that bridge when we get to it. At the very least, right now, you can um, set up all the email accounts, and we can see what we need to do from there. So that's about it. I'm going to stop here, and um, let's, let's email next week if you have any trouble. But you can basically already get started with setting all this up. Okay, Khalib. This is Bradley signing off. Bye-bye.